welcome back to my channel Math and Language and we're going to discuss how to subtract the similar fractions. So let's uh, discuss first what are the similar fractions. They are fractions that are that have different denominators. So for the first fraction we have 3 as its denominator and for the second fraction we have 2 as its denominator. So they are co considered the similar fractions. Now, how are we going to subtract them? So, we're go I'm going to teach you the butterfly method. So, all you have to do is like cross multiply it like this. 2 times 2, that will be 4. 1 times 3, that will be 3. Now, just copy paste the operation since it's minus. Of course, it will also be minus. And lastly, we have 3 times 2, that will be 6. So, just um, subtract it. 4 minus 3, that will be 1 over 6. And there you have it, 1 over 6. Now, let's have another example. What if we have 6 over 7 minus, let's say, 1, one fifth? Okay. So, let's um, do the butterfly method. 6 times 5, that will be 30. Minus times 1 times 7, that will be 7 over 35. Answer this one. 30 minus 7, that will be... 23 and over 35 and that is already the, uh, the lowest term because 23 is a prime number hmm. you cannot reduce it anymore and let's have the last example what if we have 9 over 10 minus 2 2 thirds mm -hmm. so let's have the butterfly method 9 times 3 that will be 27 and copy the minus sign here. 2 times 10, that will be 20. Over 10 times 3, that will be 30. Hmm. Equals 27 minus 20, that will be 7. Over 30. And yes, that is already the lowest term. So it's really easy if you will do the butterfly method. But again, uh, there are many methods on how to subtract the similar fractions, so I'm teaching you the butterfly method. And that's the end of the lesson on how to subtract the similar fractions. If you have questions or in need of clarifications, or if you have suggestions, please comment down. My name is James, and I'm your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe, and also click the bell notification so you will be updated on my future videos about math and language. I'm on my way on my 10k subscribers milestone, so I will really appreciate if you will like and subscribe. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Bye.